The boys' cross-country team is also back at practice, and head coach Jennifer Fairbanks is ready for the season. Um, this is my 10th year coaching, so I'm very excited about that milestone. I grew up in Hopkinton. I ran for Hopkinton. I ran for Coach Scanlon. Um, so he was an inspiration in getting me to teach and to run, and I learned from one of the best, so it's exciting. Our home course is at Hopkinton State Park, and that's where I ran. So we got a lot of history there. Uh, how's the team looking this year? Is it an experienced team? Is it a young team? And what are your expectations I for the season? it's going to be a growing year. Um, we graduated 20 seniors. Um, but I'm so excited to see so many new faces. Uh, we have about 12 freshmen, but also 12 upperclassmen, which is exciting to get, get a whole new variety. Uh, I don't know how to predict our top five, so that's always exciting to, for some surprises. Um, we have a lot of underclassmen this year. Um, we have a lot of new talent, which is gonna be really good. Um, yeah, because last year, our t I think our top seven, which is varsity, I think six out of the seven were seniors and they all graduated. So I was a little worried on how the team might look this year, but seeing all these new faces, I think we'll have a pretty strong year. All right, excellent. I think it's pretty cool having like a big range of uh, speeds in this team now. Um, and I'm pretty excited. In the early practices, it has been all about strength, stamina, and conditioning. Right now, we're just getting our mileage up. You know, um, summer running is important. So we're just kind of trying to get into the season. But we've been doing a lot of hill sprints and um, just long distance work. Yeah, hill sprints is uh, pretty critical for us because at our home race we have three big hills that in comparison to other courses they don't have so that's something we've been really working on which I think is going to give us the edge in races and overall we've been working on sprints too so it's been good. Hopefully they've come in with some distance running, but I like to be mindful that some kids have come in not running anything. So always, first couple of weeks, I've got um, different levels of running. So they could run two miles, three miles, five miles. We all start off at the same area. So we look together as a team and then we, we try to run at their ability and then slowly bring them all um, together safely. And of course, with the heat, we try to, that's our number one thing is to drink water and stay safe. Um, we'll slowly build in some speed. And like the kids say, we did, we did hills already on Friday. So like the variety. Despite the boys cross country team being a younger team, the captains have great experience. Um, I've been running ever since a mini marathon when I was younger. And then I've joined cross country since the beginning of middle school. Um, I used to run cross country in middle school. Um, I joined the team freshman year, done it every year since. It's been a good experience. I've always kind of been a runner, but I didn't join the team till my junior year. What happened is I was going to play soccer, but then I got cut from that, so this was my fallback, and I didn't think I'd love it that much, but it was really life-changing, you know, and now I'm captain, and I couldn't be happier. He, he's a slacker. <laughs> the captains are also multi-sport athletes. Uh, another sport I play, which I've been playing all my life, is hockey. You know, that's another reason why I initially joined is I want to get in better shape for hockey. And it's still one of the main reasons I do it. I think it's a great way to get in shape, and I'm really excited for that season as well. Um, I'm a captain of the uh, swim and dive team for Hoppington. Um, I've been doing that for three years. It's a great team, and um, but I love cross country. You know, it's a good way to get in shape for the season. Um, I'm captain of the ultimate frisbee team. And yeah, getting that running down, getting ready for all those hops. 